Good morning guys, just grabbing some coffee and then we're gonna make a quick video. It's a nice view. It's a great morning. Wanted to make a little video today on a trick that I've learned recently and it's probably been around for a while, but in case you have not learned this trick, I wanted to make sure that you knew it. So this trick is actually a pro presenter trick that I learned since I've had to do lyrics for uh, Terry Joe. Ben Hastings in Elevation in the last month. I learned a new trick and I just want to show you guys. All right, so if you're in Pro Presenter, which I have open here, um, here's all my songs. Here's my Ben playlist with all my songs right here. Um, you can see that I have them grouped by chorus, verse, um, the vamp, bridge, chorus, etc. Now, if you have a song that has multiple courses in a row, instead of having to retype or copy and paste that course multiple times, you go up here to this little icon right here, you click on it, and you get this pop-up right here. And so you can see, this is the groups that I have. I have my blank slide, chorus, verse, verse two, verse three, vamp, bridge. But it, as you can see down here, I made a live arrangement, which has chorus, verse one, chorus, verse two, chorus, blank, vamp, verse three, bridge, chorus. So that's the order of the song. Now, actually this song is missing a few blanks. So I can show you, if I just grab the blank from my group here and put it right in front, now there's a blank in front of the chorus. There's a blank right here. And I didn't have to just add another slide. So I can uh, add a blank between this verse and chorus here. I can add a blank between uh, the vamp and chorus three, and I can add a blank at the end, which is usually where I like to have a blank. Now you can see all those blanks were added. The same can happen with um, a verse. Let's go to a different set that I haven't modified yet. So you can see here, this is just verse, chorus, bridge with a pre-chorus in here. That's all that's in this section, but uh, that's usually not how the song goes. So let's go here um, and we're gonna make a new arrangement. We're gonna call this one live. And it definitely goes verse one, chorus one, verse two. Actually, the pre-chorus is in there too. Verse one, pre-chorus, chorus, chorus, bridge. And that's the more of the order of the song. So you can see, I didn't have to make any new slides. I just drug these around, the groups around, to make the layout that I want to. Now, this one doesn't have a blank, so I would have to go here to edit slides I can make one at the end here, um, add a new slide at the end, um, go to my show. We're gonna group this one into a blank. Now we have blanks at the end and it showed up here. So now I can drag a blank at the beginning, which is where I usually like to have one, at least at the beginning and the end. It speeds up your editing process of ProPresenter so much because you're not having to retype or copy and paste things. You're just dragging it around. And I'll do this mid set. So if I'm running lyrics and then I realize, oh, they added another verse there or another bridge there, I can just drag one in. And for the next time it's good to go. Cause I don't know about you. Usually I like to run lyrics where it's just the next arrow over and over and over again. So I can get it to the point when I'm doing these sets to where I don't even actually really look at pro presenter. I usually just click on the first slide and arrow over through all the slides. And I add blanks in there to naturally hit the next arrow if there's a pause and then go to the next slide. So hope this little trick helped. Um, hope you guys are doing well and I'll see you in the next video.